Right, we're going to test three of these jet lighters against each other to see which is the best at cutting through an aluminium can. So it's not going to be a very tough test, but we're going to see if the Tor Jet, the Prof, or the Kony lighter is the best. The Tor Jet's like a simple big disposable lighter, but with um, a small jet flame. So I think that's going to be the worst. The Prof is my personal favourite. They're also sometimes Kony. It's an angled blowtorch jet lighter. For the fairness sake of the test, I'm setting all these lighters to high, and that has the angled flame. And the um, Kony sort of lighter on the right has three flames that are unadjustable jets. So although that will produce the most heat overall, I think the Prof having the angled sort of one jet um, which goes higher will be better. But we'll try them in order. So what I'm going to do is use this one first torture and I'll get that just where you can see it and so for fairness reasons what I'm going to do is go all along with each one at a different height so it's the same thickness everywhere but obviously you all know which one did which so start off with the torture Hear the metal creaking. Right, I'm going to stop there. That hasn't managed to get through, but you can probably see it's singed quite badly. I'm going to zoom in on that. The um, side. So it's definitely made a lot of heat, but it hasn't got through in that time period. Next, we're going to try the Prof or the Kony angled neck lighter set to high as well. So here's this one. It gets in frame. There we go. I've set that to high and we're going to try it just a bit further down. Yeah, much faster results of this one. Horrible fumes coming off. And I'll stop that there. So that's done more than the top one has in a similar sort of time period. But again, that's not cut completely through. So that's kind of surprising. There's actually smoke coming out of the top of the can now. Uh, whatever's inside was evaporating. Which is quite funny. But um, yeah, neither of these two have made it through. So last we're going to do the Kony sort of triple flame cigar lighter. I'm just going to do that at the bottom there. So let's see. Oh, I think we've got a better result. Yep, look, that's got molten orange there. Just pull that away a second. Um, yeah, that was doing the most. So I'm just going to zoom in on that bottom section. And we'll see if I can get all the way through. Alright, let's try that again. Yeah, that's cracking. We're through. So this is by far the best of them, actually. This does run through fuel, through fuel quickly, but it's very efficient um, at doing it. So the winner is for cutting um, through metal, um, the Kony Triple Flame Cigar Lighter. But what I'm going to do now, and that really does smell horrible, is um, Go back to this one and see if I leave it on there a bit longer, if we can have any results of this. And not really. The metal's massively contracting on there, but um, not, you know, enough to uh, cut through it. And we know that the um, tour jet's going to have a similar problem where it's just not going to do anything. Um, but what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to see if I can finish off those holes of this one because we know it works well. So I'll pop it on, I'll flick the thing so it stays on. Then we've got that orange glow. 
and we're cutting through the metal again. Look at that. Stench is horrific, but that can is history. So yeah, this Coney triple flame jet lighter makes mincemeat out of those cans. I'd highly recommend one, although the fuel's gone down a bit more. Uh, I'd highly recommend one for if you want some serious heat and work from a little pocket-sized lighter.